Hey guys, this is Trent. I am here on a Friday evening getting ready for a long weekend that I am so looking forward to. I do have to announce that I now own two brand new tech toys and I didn't have to use any credit to get these two tech toys. Uh, my full-time job ended up giving me a profit sharing bonus and I used the extra money from that to purchase these two items. The first device I'm going to talk to you guys about involves my math class. Um, as you all know, I'm really getting excited about doing math and um, I'm really getting into my current class. Um, the instructor is great, um, doing the assignments are always great, and participating in class has been amazing. Um, I don't have any fear as far as walking up to the board and writing out a problem and explaining how I got the answer. About a week or so ago, my teacher suggested that we can all start to use calculators in class. Being that my teacher uses a graphing calculator, she pretty much suggested the Texas Instruments model, the TI-84 Plus Special Edition. Um, I remember the Texas Instruments calculators back when I was in high school, but back then the most advanced model was the uh, TI-83, and so um, it's been a very long time since then that I have gotten back into looking up the graphing calculators. I used one weekend to go out to Office Max, and then I also went online on my Nokia E90 to uh, see to read up on reviews for different models. Well, I looked at the version that my teacher has, and I thought it was pretty great, pretty neat looking. But since I was in a situation where I had a lot of extra money laid off to the side to be able to purchase whatever I want, I ended up taking two hours inside Office Max to compare each graphing calculator. And I eventually decided for my first choice to go for the bleeding edge of technology. I ended up going with the TI Inspire, which is the newest model of the graphing calculators made by Texas Instruments. Um, what drew me to it was the fact that it was the biggest and the baddest and the best. Uh, the fact that it was the most expensive didn't really bother me at all because I had the cash to get it. Um, the price of the TI Inspire model was 180. I figured, hey, 200 bucks for a graphing calculator, why not? When I brought it home, I enjoyed using it. The TI Inspire is a great model because it's got an extra large high resolution screen. Um, you've got two interchangeable keypads for the calculator. You have uh, the keypad for the CAS model for the graphing, and then you also have the keypad that reflects exactly the TI-84 Plus Edition. So I figured, you know, two calculators in one can't go wrong. Well, the main reason why I ended up choosing the TI Inspire model was to have a calculator that was pretty much versatile enough for me to be able to use it in my current math class as well as my future calculus class that I will have to take at ECPI. As I played around with it and started, you know, solving equations and whatnot with the calculator, I began to think to myself, $180 is a lot just to pay for a graphing calculator. Um, so after debating about it for a couple of hours, I decided to take it back and exchange it for the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition, which is what my teacher has. So I took it back to Office Max and found out that they were sold out of the model that I was looking for. So at that point, I had no choice but to ask for a refund, and I eventually got it. I, I had no idea that Hewlett-Packard makes calculators until that day. And so when I did my research, I ended up doing a lot of comparisons between the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition against the HP 50G. Now, as it turns out, these two calculators are pretty much not on the same level. In order to have an equal comparison, I realized that it was mainly the HP 50G against the TI-89 Titanium. At this point, I came back home and I knew for sure that the HP was the one for me. I 
pretty much figured that at 150 bucks, I was going to hold on to the HP and use it as my permanent calculator. Uh, I even came home and did a video about the uh, HP 50G. And um, later on, I think I may play a couple of clips from that old video for you guys. This model is the HP 50G graphing calculator. Here at the bottom is an SD card slot. And you'll see that here in the back. At the top here, you have your mini USB port as well as your infrared port. And I'm really looking forward to making the most out of using it for my future math courses. Well, right now, as I'm taking my introduction to mathematics class, I'm only going to use so many features from the, my one calculator. So um, I had to return my Hewlett Packard 50G model back to Best Buy. I got a refund and I then drove over to Circuit City where I found my brand new calculator. This new calculator that I have right now, it's just right. It's just perfect for what I need right now. And it only cost me 20 bucks. Okay. It's simple. It's clean and it's pretty much exactly what I need right now for my current math class. So, this is what it looks like. The TI-30XS with the multi-view screen. And as you can see, it, the multi-view screen, it's pretty much larger than your average scientific calculator. And so it allows you to basically see problems the way that they would show up in a textbook. And I pretty much love it. It's pretty much the same button layout as your average uh, Texas Instruments graphing calculator. This particular model is very thin, composed of plastic. It also has solar power included in the way that it, it operates. So it's very neat. Um, what I also found neat was that I can use this toggle button to go up and down the to go up and down the display to look at previous calculations that I performed early on in one session. And um, this is great. It's pretty much exactly what I need for right now in the middle of my math class. And I'm going to continue to use this calculator until I end up getting to calculus and realize that I need something a bit more uh, fully featured. So for 20 bucks, uh, I have to say this is pretty much the best bet that I could ever get for myself for right now and the wisest and the cheapest. <laughs> so uh, with all of that said about this new calculator, I'm going to tell you guys a story about what happened in my math class just recently. Now as my teacher went through the class and passed out all of the uh, test papers, she made the comment that out of everyone in the class, there was only one person that got 100% on this paper. And there you go. Believe it or not, I was the only person in my math class to get a 100 on this worksheet. You know, I, I came this close to buying a magnet and sticking this bad boy up on the refrigerator. That's how great I felt about this thing. So needless to say, I am doing very well. Um, we had a, we did have another assignment that we just got back the other night and I didn't do as well in that, but um, I, I'm doing okay. You know, I got a 92 on another on another paper that we had to do but overall I'm doing I'm doing all right you know as long as I can maintain you know 80 or better I'm pretty much great and so far I've been getting over 90s you know for all of my papers so it's a great feeling and I hope to keep it up for the remainder of this month as I continue on with the course so um, that's pretty much it I'm going to now say goodbye to you guys and prepare you for the second part of my video which involves another tech toy now this stay tuned for the second tech toy and I will talk to you guys then